Hey guys, Toxic Spartan 22 here again, and this is the fourth time that I've had to record this and try to get it right. So, this is my mini game world. I made this mini game world strictly for the playing of me with me and my friends playing it. I'm not making this video to put Vince's mini game world to shame. I'm just doing this because I'm wanting y'all to see my mini game world for what it is. So, first off, we're starting with the lobby area. There's the shop in here. I'm gonna start with this before we get to the actual mini games. This is an item that only Twitch people can get, and then this is the item that only YouTubers can get. Then there is the shop items. And one helmet signifies an entire set of armor. With the leather is free. And then if you buy a bow for five gold, you get free arrows. 15 gold, 15 free, etc. 25, 12, 40. And that's it. The ender chests are used for your personal items that you'd like to put away at the end. The leaderboard is all the people that have made this server and contributed to it so far. I'm adding more people to it, but I just haven't gotten the opportunity. I'm right there. Vince is right there. And Brad is right there. Down here is the leaderboard room where people put down their names and what type of role they have. Brad is the second owner, plus a friend. Brian is a friend. Nightwing is a friend. Mine's right here. Owner, YouTuber, friend. Owner, YouTuber, etc. Sophie's a friend, second owner. Bounty Hunter is a friend, second owner. There's Bounty Hunter right there. Music Man is a friend plus a YouTuber. His YouTube channel is Blue Skull. I will try to find it sometime in the future and put the link to his channel in the description of my video. Pugs is Vince. Vince's channel is P-U-D-S-X. And he is a second owner of my server and a friend as well. God of Lost Lives is an admin of my server and he is a friend too. Then there's Evil Queen 300, otherwise known as Brooke. She's a second owner and a friend, too. The jail bars means that the people have been banned. And my friend Bounty Hunter's talking, but I did not get to understand him, and I'm trying to get this real quick. Y'all can't hear him in the background, so if y'all hear me responding to him, that's who I'm talking to. But here's the waiting pool for people that are waiting on either minigames or etc., and I'm going to go ahead and send Brooke another invite because she just got back online. So now we're going to move on to the minigame area. But this is an AFK fountain. Bounty Hunter, could you demonstrate? For people that go AFK in the server, they can't hear you, Bounty. But for people that go AFK in the server, they just leave their controllers on their table after they're sitting in that. And it will automatically move them around and make it to where they do not lose connection. Now moving on to the minigames. This minigame is Cops and Robbers. Blackout Race. This is a minigame made by one of my friends. It's a minigame with other minigames. And then there's the Arrow PvP and 5v5 PvP. You've got to pick either one of the other. Either pick the Arrow 5v5 or a normal Sword 5v5. Then there's Chicken Toss, Parkour Race, and Hide and Seek. I'm going to show y'all the minigames right now. That is my friend Brad's over there. It's in the shape of a cross. I, th I hope it is, but that was his design. Here is the chicken toss game. One player would be on this side. The other player would be on that side. This is an idea that I got from a YouTuber years and years and years ago. And I think that YouTuber's name was Stampy. He was a Minecraft YouTuber. I think he still is somewhat. But he had one mini game in his world where he would have water on both sides and chickens. And you got to get your chicken to the other side. And whenever your side's empty first, you win. This is the newest mini game that has been added. It was just added in today. This is Cops and Robbers. <coughs> just choked on air. This is the warden's office. You've got to... Thank you, Bounty. You've got to have a key to get into it. And this is the emergency escape for the warden. But you got to have a key. Here's the prisoner's cells. And in order for them to escape their cells, they've got three stacks of watermelons. They're going to make watermelon blocks and climb up there in order to escape their cells when the doors are locked. All the cells look the same, and there's Bounty Hunter with the inmate skin. This is the gym area. There is a bench press for bench pressing, and then there's a treadmill and pull-ups. And then over here is a shower area, two person per, two people at a time, because I was only able to put two showers in there, but I'm gonna put a divider in the middle, so that way people that take a shower in the minigame, don't feel like their space is invaded. And then the cafeteria is over here, and Bounty Hunter went and he had the idea to put these stairs there, and then I was the one that had the idea to put the minecarts. 
but Bounty Hunter did most of the cafeteria work. He did a good job with it. And that is the Cops and Robbers minigame. And then Bounty Hunter's minigame is over here. And this is the way that administrators plus me could get in there to teleport players. Which I follow through that hole and I teleport all the players here. Bounty Hunter, you need to go in ahead and like put a redstone block here or something. That's a pressure plate. Not pressure plate. A uh, piston that pushes the block up to prevent them from going through. But this is the blackout race. And it's dark through some of the way. But we got glass in here because we had to see. So it's a race to the end. And there's a sign that says BRB there. Once you get to the end, you will stand right here. The first person to make it will get rewarded gold ingots. And then here is a area where I could put in mini game requests from either you guys that watch my videos in the comments or from people that are in the server and they want to request a mini game. I put the requests in here in this room on these walls. That way sometime later in the future we have more mini game ideas. Here's the hide and seek. And the way to pick who's going to be a hider and who's going to be a seeker is none other than rock, paper, scissors. So, in rock, paper, scissors, you get paper, you get a sword, paper, and stone. And the stone, or paper, whatever it is, is going to be thrown right here. So, whenever that's thrown there, whoever picks what, wins what. The one who wins, no, I'm not going to demonstrate hide and seek bounty. The one who wins gets to be the seeker, and this co these cobwebs are necessary because it limits the player's speed to get in there quick, but if Bounty Hunter is in my way, I cannot get rid of the cobwebs. <laughs> He's just freaking, he was trying to go down there with me because he thought I was going to go through it. But yeah, and it's going to auto-save in a second. But that's the hider in the seeker area. The, se the hiders instantly get to run through their door, but the seekers have to run through their cobweb-filled one. Here is all of the hiding spots. You go in here, and this is one that I had added, and you could hide there. And then you go around in here, down through here. And there's a hiding spot here, too. And, yeah, and Bounty Hunter's over at the other one. There's that one down here. Which, if any of y'all know this glitch, you could swim in a one block layer and then get places. And then there's this one that I had added behind the waterfall. It'll lead you. It'll lead you up here, yep. And then there's that other one. If I could get up the freaking waterfall. Hello, bounty. Hi, how are you? I'm doing all right. If I could get up there, for God's sake. And then here's the other hiding spot. There's more of them. There's some down here. There's one up there where Bounty Hunter is. And then there's this hut. Which I don't think anybody has hit here so far yet. But here's another administrator builder exit. 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 And then here is the bow slash PVP area. Blue team and the red team. So red team would be over here. There's a lever that opens up the side. Not sides. Open up. Bleh, opens up both sides for the different players. And then the parkour race is right here. And the first person to get across will step on this pressure plate, which will activate a firework. And let's see, is that all the mini games that I have? Or, oh, this is a mini game that's a work in progress. Um, I don't know what exactly it was supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be a sky block, but nobody. Huh? Bed Wars? Were you the one I was working on this? Yeah. Well, Bounty Hunter, you can go on ahead and start working on it if you want to. Uh, yeah, that is Bed Wars. I just remembered. That's a Bed Wars. It's still a work in progress, but. Bounty, you can go ahead and start working on that if you want to. And I actually think that that's all the mini games. Well, I haven't showed y'all Brad's mini games, so give me a second. Okay, so here is Brad's mini game. This is the hide and seek area of his mini game, I believe. Yeah, that's his hide and seek area. 
And I think that's a normal PvP. That's a free-for-all. So that over there is free-for-all. That's team deathmatch. And then PvP. And then for some reason, this is something. I don't know what this is, but this will be our first time experiencing. Oh, it's a hidden exit. Okay. And yeah, that's Brad's minigame. Young Jay's is a work in progress. His isn't anywhere near finished yet because his redstone is still... Okay, stop with the redstone. Like, stop pulling the lever. His is still a work in progress, and that's why, because his stairs are sticking. But, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to show in this video, I guess. But if y'all would like to see more of this, as I say in every single one of my videos... If y'all would like to see more, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I, uh, let me know in the comments if y'all would want to see either more of this or Desert Storm. Because I'm going to be doing a Desert Storm video within the next two days or so. But the videos will be uploaded the day after I record them. Because I have to go and anytime I record, I got to publish the videos at night while I'm asleep. So I could give out an announcement on my Discord which I'll link that in the description of the video. I'll link my Discord, and then those of you that want to join my Discord, uh, ah, my Discord server, I will put up announcements as much as I can whenever I'm going to be uploading a video, whenever I'm going to be going live, etc. That way y'all could be there for those live moments, because I can't go live on my phone at the moment, and I think the broadcast, oh, I guess the recording is about to stop. So I'm going to go on ahead and end it here. And I will see you all in the next video. Everybody stay safe with the pandemic going around. And I'll see you all later. Bye.